pressure pack. What's the word? It's your boy, the pressure pack alumni. It's the pressure man. And we right back into this LA Noir. I'ma finish this game for y'all, W series, real funny. If you new, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and come on this journey with us, man. Pressure pack business. The Golden Butterfly. Okay. That's the name of the case. Shoot you in the face. Slap you with the lace. Oh, I forgot. We on homicide now, y'all. It been a little minute. It been a little minute. I'm back. I'm back. Oh, shit. Oh. Damn. One hit. Pressure pack alumni. Galloway. Got it, Skipper. Yeah, I'll bring him. He's my partner, after all. Why wouldn't you bring me, Rusty Dusty? New case. White female dumped in a plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hacks are all over it. Captain's trying to fend them off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Skipper wants you to have your newspaper face on, college boy. I think I know the place where they found. Oh, the We're coming back with the pink Sunset jacket, man. Boulevard. Let's go. We back with the pink jacket on attack. Now I'm talking about. All right, look. I'll catch y'all when we get to the destination. I don't want to talk to Rusty for too long. Let's get straight to business. Big detective work. Y'all know how I get with these. All right, all right. Big press. It's on the scene. Big Boys, press. You know My pants pressed, and I'm here to do the pressing. I'll be holding a press conference once the autopsy is being completed. No kids. I have two of my finest investigators on the case, fresh from bringing down the sword of justice on the crazed sex. Captain, aren't Wendell's. there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry? It didn't might know skinny as hell. I believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women. Boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world, with the greatest scientific investigators at our disposal. Mm. How can any killer continue to be that? Be advised. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain who continue to believe they can take a life in the city of angels. Yeah, mm. right. Any new leads in the Dahlia case? Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. He just gave them the stank we have face. God's work to do here, and it can't be delayed. Our pants pressed. They don't look at us like what that. What we have, Captain? Another woman sacrificed. Speak okay. to Carruthers. I want daily reports, gentlemen. All right. Are oh, we gonna get this case done? Don't worry about it, Chief. Awful. Just awful. Detective, I was first on scene. Okay. You were first on scene. Talk to me. Talk to me. Not me. Family out for a stroll. I was first reporting. Can you show me the body? It's under the pepper tree. This way. Yeah, show me. I ain't got time. Hey, 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 hey! You the vulture. Face built like a vulture. Big nose. At... Big long nose. Can't What's be much help you, Phelps. Shut up, Pinker. Here she is. We got the boot prints. Okay. The stopping angle in the Henry case. Was it reported in the press? Sure was. Every detail Small man's boot. Want was there in the story. What size is they? Can I tell or no? Okay, I'm gonna have to blur out that body. No kizzy. What we got in the purse? She got a stanky five dollar bill. Okay, what's this? Deirdre Muller. Can you run Deirdre Muller by R and I? Back in a second. Parent teacher association. Oh, she got kids. Let me get that five dollars out of here. Can I buy it that? Robbery. Why not take the money? Oh, it look like a Y. All right, go ahead and put that down, Phil. All right, now we checking body. All right, what we got? Got lacerations to the neck, stomping out boot prints on the chest. Feel me? Look at your mark, it's very distinctive. 
Mm. I'll do some comparisons back at the lab and get back to you. This is tough. Okay. What else we got? Was she tied up? Looks like she was tied up. Yeah. It does at first, but that would leave a mark on her other wrist too. I think her watch might have been torn off. Okay. So it might have been a robbery. Tore her to watch off. Just the Oh, wedding ring missing, y'all. Like in another case. Cut on the finger. Fourth finger, left hand. A wedding or engagement ring. Violently removed. Hmm. Missing jewelry. Okay. And then we got the stomped out boot print. I'm still missing something. I am still missing something. Okay, I think we're done with the body, though. Detectives, r &I says that Deidre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband, Hugo Mahler. What'd I tell you? Interview you Hugo. Husband, Hugo. He, 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 downtown and work him over. Could have this wrapped up by lunchtime. What why do you think it's making time? assumptions and going on the evidence? Yeah, hey, Rusty want to admit it. Oh, it's the husband. Like, shut up, Rusty. All right, y'all, I'm gonna get this crime scene one more look over. And then I will see y'all at the Yada Day Me. So oh, talk to him. The what? The Dahlia? I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch your mouth, Phelps. All I'm saying is we got enough to do without reopening closed You're not wearing a diarrhea <laughs> suit. Severely battered, on display, footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. Size of the footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. What size shoe did Mendez wear? You finished? No, size eight. not. Size eight. At a glance, I would say strangulation was the cause of death. I'll need to do further tests for semen. Angry boyfriend. If they were married, they'd be at home. Not humping out here in Lover's Lane. All right now, Rusty. The music's still on, y'all. Make me feel like I missed something, man. Do I have all the evidence? I'm gonna check. Now let's see what he got for big press. Let me go check around the back. What you doing in there? Where you at, boy? Oh, oh, that's a little girl right there. Okay. Don't look like nobody home. Where's the father at? All right. Front door it is. Big press. Open up. Here to solve a case. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is your father home? He'll Is he home? home? Soon. He's been out looking for mommy. A mommy, huh? What's your name, miss? Michelle Eloise Mahler. Can we come in? Yes, your mama did. So. Thank you. They wouldn't have gotten mine. Michelle. This is the first time I've seen a kid in a rock star game. We're going to have a look around. <clears throat> Damn, just tell her you're going to have a look around. Then. All right, we're starting in the dad room. Or the father room. At? I don't even need to look at the daughter room. This is it right here. Let me see them size shoes. We right to the business. Let me see. What size shoe? Ooh, size eight. Brooklyn's. Size eight. Mm, size eight. Partner will explain everything when you get back, okay? Size eight, boy. You're already losing, big dog. Elgin wristwatch. Probably the same one snatched from her body. Yep. Mm -hmm. No sign of a wedding ring. Missing watch and rings. So it was like a little mini robbery. Okay, okay. Can I open the closet up? Is that everything in the bedroom? Looks like that's everything we can get in the bedroom. You know what I'm saying? 
Big press, baby. Might as well check the kid room. Did he hide something in there? Nope. Just kid stuff. I mean, this is a nice little crib, though. I'm talking about a. Okay, soapy dishes. Okay, y'all do it right. Note on the fridge, no? Gotta check the backyard. Hell he got going on. Oh, what's this? A little fire burning? Oh, I can't I can't check that. Hmm. Okay, I gotta talk to her then. Cause the music cut off. Look like we gotta go back in. Excuse me, little girl. Where's your father? Is this about mommy? Daddy is trying to find her. Please tell me she's okay. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle, but your mother is dead. Cole, this ain't something you tell a kid. What the hell is they doing in the 1960s? Your mother did. Do you think you could answer a few questions for us? Try. You stop crying kind of quick, ain't it? Your mom and dad are uh, happily married. What are you saying? Of course they are. Now. They weren't happy, were they, Michelle? Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. She said she was leaving if he ever did it again. He bought her a brooch pin to make up for it. Oh, a brooch. And they always wore her golden butterfly. Golden butterfly. Some of your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe her things? A ring, a watch. I never paid much attention to that stuff. Lie again. Do a little eye twitch. You lying to me, ain't you? Oh, I feel like she's telling the truth. Yo, this is. I know it's painful. It's the truth. This it's may be truth. important. She wore a wedding ring. Mommy chose it herself. A rose gold wedding band and a matching diamond and ruby engagement ring. She wore a watch? Yes. A yellow gold Elgin watch. Mm. Daddy bought it for her birthday. They had a fight. They have a lot of fights, huh? A makeup present. I thought he only hit her once. When did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but... She didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. Hmm? I give her the truth. And did he come and get you? Oh my God, yes. bruh. Some boys offered me a ride home, but that's not Damn what I it. to do. So you were hanging around the school for quite a while. What happened with your father? I don't know. I called and Damn called it. and finally he answered. He came straight away then. Thanks, Miss Muller. You've been very brave. Hey, what gives? Daddy, the police are room, here. Please, I'll talk to the police. Daddy, mommy is gone. Go to your room, young lady. She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's some Your wife kind was of... found murdered this morning. Found? That damn egg roll neck. What? The... But, but she only... We have some questions that we would like to ask you. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. Will you now? What's the alibi? So you were here all night. You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. Lie. Lie. You should come clean if you're having an affair or if there's something going on. I told you I was here. Were you saying I wasn't? I'm saying you wasn't. Definitely saying you wasn't. So why did you take so long to answer the phone when your daughter called? Yeah, why did you take so long? Okay, I went out for a while. I was I was driving around. It's my way of relaxing. Mm. Mm. Right, right. Uh, movements of the victim? Your wife went to pick up Michelle? Yes. 
That's right. What the hell wrong with him? What's all this movement? See, this is a tough one. I mean, but that's the truth. But I'm going to doubt it, though. What Damn. happened, Hugo? You got any theories? Because we're starting to like you for this. The car park by the school is kind of dark. Uh, maybe somebody jumped over there. Did you try the parking lot? <laughs> okay. Your wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. Mm. That's not that's not true, god damn it. That's not true. What's up with all these gifts? What's up with all these gifts to be given? The butterfly broke. That ain't true. That ain't true. A lie. It is true, Hugo. You're a violent man. You try to keep a lid on it at home, but sometimes you lost control. Your daughter and your wife were scared of you. You don't know anything about me. I know about the butterfly brooch. I know about the butterfly. I know about the golden butterfly, Hugo, and how you bought your wife off the last time you heard her. Yeah. She liked to spend money, all right? Dresses, uh, jewelry, her hair. It drove me goddamn crazy. Do mm -hmm. I look like a Rockefeller? Nobody likes a cheapskate, Hugo. <laughs> Your hairline look like a Rockefeller. You phoned in a missing persons report this morning? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around. She left around 9:30. Uh, Michelle was out of dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. This nigga is lying. Hold on, let me see. I don't got no more evidence. Look how he moving though. Did your wife ever go out by herself to bars, nightclubs? No. That was a doubt. What are, you, what are you suggesting? You suggesting my wife's loose? <laughs> now is not the time for you to be pushing me, mister. Your daughter said you were having an argument. We argued about who would pick up Michelle. I worked a full day. I wanted to come home, put my feet up. But you left the house anyway. What size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. That's a damn lie. Why are you lying to me, Mr. Muller? Why would I lie to you at a time like this? Because you got size eight in your room. No, I hit the My wrong size. You must really be running on. I hit the wrong button. Getting hostile with us is a very bad idea, Hugo. I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your daughter and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You got to be kidding me, Phelps. Put the cuffs on him. This is an outrage. I didn't kill my wife. Your daughter is in the next room, Muller, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind, and don't make me come... It was size 8 work boots. You should go back in there and bust his ass. One, we need to break his alibi. Check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in L.A. Three, we have no evidence tying him to the crime scene. Hello? Detective! Oh, she... Hi, I want a snitch. Look, oh yeah, we need you. Come here, come here. Tell me everything. What yes, ma'am. I heard the terrible news over the radio. And you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. Right, they had right a now. Last night. The cash. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No, not at all. I did see Mr. Muller put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told you he was our guy. Now let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. Look, there he is now. Oh yeah, I'm on him. I'm on him. Watch out, cop. Hey, back me up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, what up? Step away from the incinerator. Come on. Don't let him get away. Come out. Okay, Come out. No shooting. We need this guy to make the case. You know I'm like that. You know I'm like that for. You know I'm like that for. <laughs> Come here. All star, track star. You never know, you never know. Mmm. What size is these? Size eight. Bloody shoe, huh? This doesn't look good, Hugo. I, I can explain the blood. Explain. Get him booked in at Central, officer. Then put him in an interview room. We'll be speaking with him later. And inform the captain. Yes, sir, detective. 
Is there someone you can call, miss? I, I don't want a home and... You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. You have other family, grandparents, aunts or uncle? Call Aunt Helen, but she lives in Bakersfield and... Call her. Make We're gonna get someone down here from Juvenile day. Hall to talk to you in the meantime. Yeah, we're gonna get somebody down here from Juvie. You going down to Juvie? Clean up, take care of the kid. Goddamn ruins! I have them seasoned from hell. Let me use the phone, man. <clears throat> yeah. Galloway, homicide. Coco Phil, bad. Twelve forty-seven. Big press here. I need an address on a Belmont High School. One thirty North Bonnie Gray Street. Send someone down from Juvenile Hall to look after a young lady. Mm -hmm. West Second Street. Okay. Oh, y'all thought we wasn't going to the high school? Huh? We already got him in custody. Let's go to the high school. I was on the way to the high school. They said, come to the coroner's office immediately. Help. Big press, we need you. I can't do my job. Come on in. Tired of doing everybody's job. I'm the pressure man. I ain't signed up for this. Hey, you looking at you, the suspect? Helps. Rusty, thanks for coming. I think it look like Edward from Twilight. To bagged and see if they're a match. Sure, it'll all be in the report. But I'm assuming you want the details now. Please. Cause of death is strangulation. Correct. Take a look at the samples on the bench. Okay. Okay. Is this it? Nah, this ain't the one. They put that one down. This look like it right here. What are the normal uses for that kind of rope? On boats, mooring lines. Correct. Although Ray says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches. Hmm. Hmm. It definitely ain't this. So are we looking for a, a sailor or a minister? Well, in my experience, sailors seem to have the greater libido. Was Mrs. Mm. Muller criminally attacked? No external or internal traces of semen. Thanks, Mal. Anything else comes up, you let us know. We to the high school with it. Watch out, Edward. It's Team Jacob anyway. He really look like Edward Cullen. Dusty. Uh, I'm Big Bad 1247. Welcome to Belmont High School. Let's do what we came here to do, do. And I'm talking about a... Hey, are you looking this is at the car? Yes, sir, detective. Have you looked it over? Superficially. I was told to wait for you guys. Thanks. We'll take it from here. What time did you see the person park the car? Late last night, after school social, maybe 1 a.m. I've been keeping a good eye out lately. We've had problems with the child molester. And this was the same man? I don't know, sir. I mean, I'd like to say yes, but truth is, it was pretty dark. All right. Tell me about this man you've been having trouble with. Okay. He hangs near the playground, tries to befriend the children. He was around here last night before the dance. Is he violent? Yes, sir. I would say so, yes. There's a son of a bitch now. Hey, you! Man, what the... Oh, Bill, I'll take the car and see yeah, cut yeah, off. yeah, yeah, yeah. Big press, big press. I'm going to shoot you all in your chest. Don't run gonna be those runners gonna be a mess hold on big press but right, get over here bro get over here bro don't stress hold on don't run don't run don't run i got a gun it's gonna be done if you run you're gonna be big oh wait it's your mother come here come here don't you run from me he got the burners, don't he? Hey, 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 hey. Come here now. Got him. Got him, y'all. Got him, y'all. Got him, y'all. Get your mother. Hell, you thought you were going. Big press on feet. Who's asking? We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Name's Eli Rooney. You've been in trouble with the law before, Eli? Some. What are you doing around here? 
I like to keep an eye on the children. Strictly paternal, is it, Eli? Don't sass me, boy. A woman was abducted here last night, Eli, and murdered. And I would love to make you for that, you okey motherfucker. Mm. But I wouldn't know nothing about that. A woman, you say? I like them a little younger than that. Turn out your pockets, Eli. Now, why would I do that? Because I'm about to break your fucking skull, Eli. He said that. Let it be the golden butterfly. You're under arrest, Eli. Yo, I are going to very jail. deep trouble. Yo, I going to jail. Why bother with the paperwork, Eli? I'm going to take out my gun, and I'm going to count to five. Let's see how fast you can run now. Hang on a god dang minute. I found that thing in the parking lot. Get some backup out here, Rusty. We need to get this one downtown and into a cell. I'll tell them we got a kitty reaper coming and they can roll out the red carpet. Oh, man. He had the butterfly brooch on. This is interesting. Okay. Blood and skin samples. We better get Ray Pinker out here. Okay, got the rope. We got the murder weapon. What's this? HM. Are stenciled HM. Muller is a mechanic. I wonder what Eli does for a living. HM. Bloody overalls. And the murder weapon? This all too convenient. Chrysler. Could be important. And check it out, though. Check it out, y'all. He not smart enough. Eli not smart enough to make this, like... He not smart enough to frame Hugo Muller. Y'all seen that? I don't know who to make for this murder. But I know Eli not smart enough to frame Hugo. My bad, y'all. The music got me vibing. Big press. Better not go soft on me. We'll work the evidence, Rusty. Let him do the rest. Interview room one, interview room that two. bum took a swipe at me. I put him Are they ready? Bowler's in two and the pervert's in one. Get in there and get a conviction. All right, uh, Mouthpiece for strip let's go up in here oh, first. We were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, folks, I know. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. I have tried to reaffirm his belief in a wrathful and terrible God. Whichever way it goes, I'll be dealing personally with him. Mm. Alright, let me interview Muller first. We're gonna handle Eli last. We're gonna let him cook. You, come here. Here's where we stand, Hugo. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You mm -hmm. were burning your blood stained shoes. You have uh -huh. no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter mm -hmm. says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And death all you have row. to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. Oh, my God. I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. Your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. You don't know nothing about any tire iron. Mm, rural pattern, size eight work boot, butterfly broke husband's alibi, overall. Green work overall, sign with this HM. Bloody tire iron. You're gonna oh, God, I hit doubt. Better give me something if I'm. Oh, my God, bro. My conscience is clear. You can't badger me into admitting anything. Damn it, bro. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. Lies. Enough lies, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are in the laundry of my house. Got you. I got you. I got you now. I got you now. Don't I? Where they at? Where the work? Where the where the where the, where the overalls? Green overalls. There we go. Blood stain with the initials H M found in the trunk of your wife's car. They can't be mine. Why, Hugo? 
Because if they were yours, they'd be in the incinerator, too. Mm. All right, Hugo. Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the Army. Why he always look like he lying? This is some bulls. Oh, God. Now, if I say truth, watch this. I'm going to say truth. Watch this. Do you know anything about braided ropes? Some. Uh, they're mainly used for um, mooring lines, hawsers, you know, that kind of stuff. We don't this have much use for them in the machine shop. We use chain hoists. This is some bull. Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. Are you going to tell me what I want to know? Or do we have to take it out of you in lumps? Do it your best shot. I can take whatever you're throwing. This is terrible. I just sold, man. I'll be back for you. You are a modest little person. You're not to be modest. That bum took a swipe at me. I I'll be back to you, man. Diarrhea suit. Why are you walking so close to me? Look, you're walking so close, you glitch. This is killing me, y'all. You look like you've had it rough. You see me asking for your sympathy, boy? You killed Mrs. Moeller and stole her jewelry. That ain't so. Ain't done nothing like that. He's sitting here talking about. Isn't there anything else you can do? Why you got the butterfly brooch? If you identify the man in this picture. Hold on, access to the place of employment. Okay. No, wait. Fourteen years in and out of prison, son. You think you can outweigh me? You're wrong. Review the evidence. Okay, I want to tell him he lying. You killed Mrs. Muller and stole her jewelry. That ain't so. Ain't done nothing like that. Lie. You're a liar, Eli. You needed the money, so you killed her. I've been around some, son. You got some evidence that proves I stole that butterfly from that woman? Mmm. You can't prove you stole a butterfly, but you can prove he had the butterfly. Like I made a mistake. I doubt it. You have no job and nowhere to live by the smell of things. And you need money. You've been in trouble before, Eli. Who do you think a jury will believe? I've been in trouble for other things, but I ain't never killed no one. I saw that car coming to the parking lot late last night. Man got changed there and put his coveralls in the trunk. I saw him drop the butterfly in the lamplight and he strolled out. Cool as you like. And I went over and I picked it up. Mm. You ever tie up any of your victims, Eli? It's not a nice thing to go calling them. What would you call them? I can't say. I learned a long time ago not to go talk about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you. See what I mean? Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what you mean, is it? Any old rope will do me fine. Farm boy like you, Eli, must prefer McGay for roping. Am I right? Hmm. I prefer braid. Tie hitching braid stays tight. He said braid. Braided rope. You're down on your luck, Eli. I had worse. My family ate roadkill during the Dust Bowl. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? I had me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. This place you worked have a name? Hennessy Marine. You can't miss a place. Big yellow letters HM out. They give you any work wear, Eli? Sure. Green coverall. Dang thing was hot. Felt like I was back in the pen wearing it. 
green coverall. Bro, it's too much evidence on him. Green coveralls. This is crunchy. Eli Rooney, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Deirdre Muller. You want to put me back in the stir that badly, boy? You go ahead and try. I'll beat that rap. I ain't a killer. There's too much evidence on. Damn. He slapped the hell out that boy. Too much evidence on Eli, man. Ah, uh, Phelps, Galloway. Congratulations are at hand. Drink, boys. I think you'll receive a commendation for this one, gentlemen. In the meantime, I'll speak to the DA about expediting the passage of the case. We need swift and merciless justice for poor Deirdre. God damn. That was a... That was like... That was kind of anticlimactic. I still feel like I sold the bag. Three star Eli Rooney can expect a warm welcome from Captain Donnelly and the district attorney. All right, I'll catch y'all in the next vid, bro. I don't know. That was kind of anticlimactic. Look like I missed the clue. We only got three stars. I might have got the wrong guy. But we did our best. Detective work, detective press, a big press. And I'll catch y'all in the next episode. Now I'm talking about if you enjoyed the video, hit that like, hit that subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.